So you're frustrated with somebody who screws up at work. Here's how to talk with them. Use the O-I-C approach. The O stands for observed behavior. It's what I saw or what I heard you do or not do. You said this or you were 21 minutes late to the meeting or you didn't send the email or you didn't put the tools away. It's behavior. The I stands for interpretation. When you did this, the O, the observed behavior, I think that that means this, and that's certainly what it means to me. When you showed up late for the meeting, I think that means you don't care about what the team is going to be doing or the team's workload. The C stands for consequences. If the O, the observed behavior, or the I, the interpretation of the behavior, don't change, well, here's what's going to happen. Here are the consequences. So you've shown up late for the morning meetings, and I interpret that to mean that you really don't care about what's being decided in those meetings. If you keep showing up late, you're just going to have to live with the decisions that everyone else makes, and you're not going to be able to, have a, a, be able to weigh in on those decisions. Here's another example. You grumble and you complain a lot, and you waste other team members' time, and we get irritated with you, and that brings everyone else down. If that continues, we're going to move you out of your job. <laughs> Pro tip, always talk about the observable behavior first. Before talking about the interpretation or before talking about the consequences. Because if they don't know that they even have that behavior, then they can't change. So then you move on to talk about the interpretation. Then you move on to talk about the consequences. Change the behavior, problem solved. Change the interpretation of the behavior, problem solved. Or live with the consequences. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs>